CBT Nuggets Micro Nuggets, configuring a Juniper 2300 router to send syslogs to a Security Threat Response Manager, STRM. It's quite possible as you move forward in your Juniper experience that you're going to run into an environment that's deploying the Juniper STRM, that's the Security Threat Response Manager. And this is actually the 500. So this would be kind of the small branch office, small to medium sized business version. There's also a STRM 2500 and STRM 5000 that were our enterprise class devices. So it's quite likely that your organization will be using one of these, and this would be your syslog server among many other things, okay? Now in a nutshell, what does this appliance do, okay? Well, it gives you an, an incredible ability, capability to combine analysis information, also different sets of data, network behavior, security events from the SRX, also threat information and vulnerability profiles uh, from a wide variety of devices to this one appliance, which also, by the way, has its own graphical user interface that you can use, a web-based environment that you can go and you can manage all of those different aspects of security. So syslog is just one of the areas of log management uh, that you can use for this. Very scalable, especially when you get to the higher end appliances. So I'm going to show you how you would configure this specifically to go to the STRMs. It's a Juniper solution, but, the, but what I'm going to show you in the configuration will also go to, let's say, one of your other, let's say, Kiwi syslog servers as well. Now it's important to realize that we're going to send information to our STRM, our Security Threat Response Manager, that we have control plane traffic to send via syslog and data plane traffic to send via syslog. The control plane traffic, of course, is traffic that is initiated and sent directly to an interface on this router. The data plane is transit traffic, okay, traffic going through this router. So we'll do the control plane first. We're in configuration mode and we're going to set the system syslog. And we're going to say, first of all, user, any user, and then any, well, let's go back and I'll show you uh, what facilities, all facilities, and then what levels, okay? Critical, emergency, warning, notice, and higher, or we could do any and do all levels. Then we need to say, what is the IP address of our host or our STRM? Okay, the STRM is at 172.16.1.11, and again, any facility, any level. Now we can also go up here and say, look, I may not want to send everything. So for example, what about the change log? Okay. In the change log, do I want or the conflict log, either one, do I want to send part of that or none of that? So let's say in the change log, and you can see we can do those levels. Let's say we'll just send warning. And then what about something we don't want to send at all? How about the interactive? Oops, a little misspell there. How about the interactive commands? How about none? None of those, okay? So we're filtering it out. That's the control plane. Now the data plane, we're going to do a different command set. It's not set system, it's set security. And we're gonna say the set security log, and then the mode, we have some options here. We have event mode and stream mode. Event is for the control plane, we're gonna do stream. Very important to choose that option. Then we're gonna say what format, what logging format do we wanna send? The old school syslog format, or the new school, okay, the structured syslog. We want to do structured, right? So we're going to do set security log format SD syslog. Let's also determine what our source address is going to be. So we're going to say logging from the source address, and we'll use our loopback address. That's always the best practice, okay, 1.1. One one. Then we've got three stream commands we need to do here. So we're going to say set security log stream, and what are we going to call this log? Well, let's say this is my STRM log. And what category of information are we going to send? Let's send, again, we can know our options there. We can do all the content, basically, or we can do only content security events. We're going to do all. Then let's get that host address in there that we're going to send this my STRM log stream log to. So the host of the STRM, as we said, is 172.16.1.11. And let's set the port number the host port number, and that's 514. We can also do a show now, and we go down and take a look at the syslog. Any user, any facility, any level, there's the host, that's the STRM. Uh, we're only going to send the warnings of the change log though, and no interactive commands, and then let's go on down a little bit farther under the log area, 
and we can see log mode is stream. The format's SD syslog. Uh, the source address is our loopback address. Here is the name of our log. We're streaming category all to the host, the STRM 172.16.1.11 on port 514. And that is the configuration to send syslog information from a J2300 router to an STRM. I'm Michael James Shannon, CBT Nuggets instructor. I want to thank you for viewing.